So good day guys, I am Andre Alferos from ECE31 and I am here to present my experiment number 4 about 8-bit interrupt on change. So the objectives of our experiment to understand how interrupt on change or IOC works and to apply IOC for controlling the LEDs. For our equipment and components, we need our PIC16 F18875, 220 ohms resistor, LED breadboard, connecting wires, PIC3 or 4, and our power supply. So, to give you a background about 8-bit interrupt on change, interrupt on change or IOC is a hardware feature in most PIC devices. It is available on select I.O. pins when the hardware senses a change in state, low to high or high to low, an interrupt will occur. The interrupt service routine or ISR will be run, implementing any custom code the designer has developed. This project controls an LED based on a momentary switch connected to an IOC pin. It means that on this experiment, we are going to use the feature of this tax switch. So, to start, let us go to MPLAB XIDE file, new project, standalone project, next, searching for our device, the PIC16 F18875, there, next, and our compiler, next, and our project name, let's say this is exp4, and finish, tools embedded, and our code configurator. Select MCC Classic and of course finish. So I have already set the package to PDIP 40 and already click in port A the GPIO output here and on port B the GPIO input here for. And let us check our oscillator, high frequency internal oscillator internal clock 4 megahertz, clock divider 4, and check the low voltage programming. And on our module, let us just rename RA4 to LED underscore D2. There. And for our RB4 SW1. For the analog column of RA4, we are going to Check it while letting the output of RA4. While on the last column, IOC, we are going to replace none to negative in RP4. Going next to interrupt module, we are just going to check if the single ISR per interrupt is checked. And pin module IOCI was enabled and generated. Now let us go to project and our experiment for our source file and main C file. Then going down the main C file, find the line there 58 and remove this two slashes because we are going to enable it as well as the line 61. There. So the global interrupt enable and peripheral interrupt enabled and on our while uh, we are not going to change everything but rather go to MCC generated files and then click the interrupt manager C so going down the interrupt manager C we can notice that there is a pre-made code just let it be and go to pinmanager.c and scroll until the bottom wherein you can see the default interrupt hunter. Here we are going to customize this section as we type our code here. So let us type on the line 178 the led underscore d2 underscore 
toggle command. There. And let's click Build. Loading completed. And now we can proceed by connecting our Picket 3 to our laptop. And our Picket 3 will light. I have already pre-inserted it on our board, right board, we're in the first one will go to pin 1, the second one pin 11, the third one pin 12, the fourth one pin 40, and the fifth one pin 39. And now we can open our MPLAB X IPE. Here our pick it 3 device was already recognized so we just need to connect it. Just click OK. Target device was not found, so just go to Settings, Advanced Mode, and type Microchip. And on Advanced Mode, we have here a set of options. Go to Power, change 5 voltage level to 3.12V, enable Power Target Circuit from Picket 3, Operate. Browse our hex file and our hex file. Just open it. Wait for some seconds for it to be recognized. There, hex file loaded successfully, and now we can program. Okay, programming complete, and now we can proceed with our hardware. After doing again the experiment, since I encountered some problems, here is now my circuit wherein I have here the negative supply. Positive supply, all VDDs are connected to the positive, all VSS are connected to the negative. Here on the 6 slot, it is connected in series with the positive of the LED and the negative of the LED going to the resistor and going to the ground. While on the 37 slot, it goes directly to the ground but in between of a tack switch wherein this tack switch is our special component here. So, as you can notice, the LED blinks very fast and if I put this by clicking, it must turn on or if I put this by clicking, it must turn off depending on the current state of this LED. So, let's try it by chance. On. On. Off. So, it means that if that is on, we have a successful timing wherein the LED is at on state while we are pressing the switch. And this is off wherein we successfully timed the off state of the LED while pressing the switch. So the application of this could be on some games or in by chance you could win something like that. for our part 2 we need to modify the code in default interrupt handler such that it toggles multiple LEDs in output ports so going here our goal is to instead of using one LED, multiple LEDs this time. So what I did is from 0 to 7 in port A, output, I click it all. In the pin module, I just rename everything from 1 to 8 to LED1 to LED8, SW1 at the very last. All outputs are on from 1 to 8 and the negative IOC was enabled in SW1. And check again on the interrupt module if this is checked and checked and we can now generate so after generation go to main C just to verify if the global interrupt enable and peripheral interrupt enable is still alright then go to pin manager and here on the pin manager I have preset the code we're in LED1 to LED8 to toggle and all we have to do now is to click build Whew. And finally again after a couple of hours of configuring my error since I totally restarted my codes and programming since I think it's a bug on the part of 
update the software because even though I renewed my code, it doesn't recognize for the next programming. That is why my option is to do again another programming and here is the result. So the same concept just a while ago but we just added some LEDs for it to be multiple instead of one only. And if you will encounter some problems such as loose connections or the software problems, it might be your problem too. That is why you must be careful and always double check, troubleshoot to what are the possible solutions for that. Because for example, the MPLAB XIPE was not recognized, the big kit, that is why you need to reinsert again something like that. So to explain this, our experiment is about interrupt on change. So it is 8-bit interrupt of change since a change on here at the switch means that it will be interrupted. So because these LEDs are blinking, it might not be so visible in the camera but or in the video but on the naked eye, I can really see that it is blinking very fast. That is why pressing the button there off, it means that the state of the LED when we press the button was at off and another one there on so the state of the LED is at on state when we press the button that is why it is on and to conclude this experiment use a momentary switch like this input to create the IOC and control an LED from a digital output when the switch is pressed the interrupt will toggle the state of the LED from off to on or on to off. That's it, my experiment number four. Thank you for watching and goodbye. God bless you all.